before he left, the White House announced that after weeks and weeks of talking to Republican senators to see if they'd support Biden's infrastructure bill, surprise, it turns out Republicans aren't going to support anything. I could have told you that weeks ago. In fact, I think I did, as did all the progressives and most of the moderates in the Democratic caucus on Capitol Hill. This was not a surprise, really. Did anybody really think that Republicans were going to negotiate in good faith with Joe Biden about supporting an infrastructure bill and then they'd all vote for it with the big bipartisan numbers so that something could be passed that the American people would all feel good about because we've got government that works again because Republicans want Americans to believe that, really? I mean... <laughs> What about Republican senators tells you that's how they're likely to behave these days? Um, the Republicans, I will say, they do get a big, fairly concrete win here, right, out of these, these talks that they've been engaged in with the White House. They won themselves three weeks, at least, of the Democrats chatting with them pointlessly while the Republicans stretched it out as long as possible, running out the clock while never intending to give them any votes at all. I mean, think of the judges they could have nominated and confirmed during these pointless weeks-long talks. Think of the progress they could have made toward building that infrastructure bill in the careful way they need to build it so Democrats can pass it by budget reconciliation using just 50 votes, using just their own votes, instead of stringing this thing out, wasting time, while Republican senators only pretend to seriously consider the matter. The Democrats are only going to control the House and the Senate and the White House for so much time. Every day wasted where they're not passing stuff and confirming people is a win for the Republicans. Every day the Republicans can get the Democrats to not do something, that is a win for the Republicans. And it's an inexplicable waste from the Democrats. I say inexplicable because the Republican leadership has made no secret of this. They have explicitly promised that their whole 100 percent focus will be blocking whatever it is that Biden wants to do, no matter what it is. Once they have admitted that publicly, why would you waste time not doing stuff and instead talking to them about their feelings?